Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Hawker County Public Schools with another edition of uh, Three Great Things. And please pardon my appearance. I'm actually, uh, I'm actually was planning to be off today, but I popped in just to do a few things, including this recording. And it was a busy, busy week, but uh, I did want to highlight a few things. Um, one, I had a chance to visit the DEN uh, program at the, the Bland Graham Center, which is a um, after school program for kids in the Marshall community namely Coleman Elementary, Thompson Elementary, and um, uh, Marshall Middle School. And it, it's a wonderful program. We were able to create a, a space there underneath the Marshall Community Center gym and sort of convert it into a learning space for kids after school for tutoring, uh, exercise, et cetera, et cetera. And it's, it's just, it's going along extremely well. It was kind of a labor of love for Dave Graham whose father is uh, the Graham and the Graham Bland Graham Center. Uh, but it's it's turned out to be even better than we anticipated. And the attendance there has been great. Kids seem to really appreciate it. Um, uh, there was a kid there, uh, Samantha and Greg, or Derek, who played um, God Bless America for me on their, vi and their viola, or viola and uh, flute. It was wonderful. So not only do kids have an opportunity to sort of do homework, but these, for these two kids, they were practicing their instruments uh, in preparation for a Veterans Day celebration at Marshall Middle School. Very cool program. Very excited about it. Even better than we had anticipated. And, uh, and almost probably 90, 95% grant funded, which is even cooler. Uh, so thanks for that. Um, also got a chance. I went to Taylor Middle School's back to school, not back to school, my parent-teacher conference night. And I visited a uh, the STEM stress relief classroom downstairs, and it was very cool. It was uh, an opportunity for parents, kids to pop in during parent-teacher conference time, and participate in uh, creating little straw rockets and doing creating some circuits and uh, constructing some other things. It was it was stations uh, set up around the classroom, and it was really neat. And it was a it was a chance for kids who were being maybe drug along. Uh, for a parent-teacher conference tonight to participate and do something kind of fun. And then uh, I even ran into a parent or two down there who went down to check it out and got involved and did some stuff. So thanks for thinking outside the box, Taylor Middle School, uh, doing something kind of fun and uh, educational for, for parents and for students. And on a, otherwise, a, a kind of a, a slow-moving night with uh, parent-teacher conferences. So thanks for that. Um, and last but not least, um, this is kind of a weird one, but I, I'm, I'm going to give you a visual. These are the proposals, and i got to be careful. I don't think, I don't think yeah, there, this is still a, 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 I don't know, a private or you know, not for public consumption pro process, but we have 12 project um, submittals for the, the Cedar Lee Middle School project. And this is part of the, the RFP process for uh, expanding and renovating Cedar Lee Middle School, which has um, been a long time coming. And once that's done, the, the, once that's completed at Cedar Lee, then that sets into motion a expansion renovation at either Taylor Middle School or Warrington Middle School. But, but this has to happen first. So it's exciting to get 12 submittals from 12 reputable architectural firms in and around Virginia. And so my responsibility, I'm, a, I'm part of the committee, is to review all of these and complete an evaluation form. And then um, the, the, the folks who did the submittals, uh, we, we, uh, we talk about them, and then we, we decide who will come in and do, to do presentations for the, the committee. And I think at that point it becomes more of a public thing once, once a, 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 a company is selected. So... The RFP process uh, is complicated, and there, a lot, there are a lot of rules attached to it. RFP stands for Request for a Proposal, by the way. And it's, it's part of our county's procurement process, which um, is, it is complex, and it's, um, it's intended to maintain confidentiality amongst you know, the companies who are doing submittals. And then, uh, but that, that, piece of the pro that piece of this process, it only takes up a little bit of time. And uh, then we kind of go from there. So that's kind of convoluted. But the, the good news is we got 12 really good submittals, really good plans. 
and uh, we're ready to move forward with this process. So it's very exciting. Hope you have a great weekend. Thanks.